you're like me, you used to read the old Tintin comic book graphic novels when you were a kid, or you still do, and I've always really dug this character. They made a game that was kind of tied to that as well. It's called The Secret of the Unicorn, and you get to play as Tintin and get into all kinds of madcap adventure here. You're jumping around. It's mostly a 2D platformer for big chunks of the game. It goes all over the world just like the movie does. There are some vehicle sequences in here as well. You've got all of the supporting cast of characters in there, and it has a, a visual quality quality that really makes it look great on the screen, you know, it really kind of ties itself to the comic panels, but also the, the look of the CG movie, which was un undeniably beautiful. Ah, oh, there you are, you little rascal. You've been chasing cats again, eh? It's nothing groundbreaking, it's nothing earth-shattering, but there aren't a whole bunch of Tin Tin experiences. It's a solid title, whether you play it on the Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3. Hopefully this will be backwards compatible on Xbox One. There was also a pretty decent, not exactly the groundbreaking Tin Tin experience that we would all want as fans, but still pretty damn fun and a good approximation of what it must feel like to be Tin Tin himself. This is definitely a buried treasure.